Hey up everyone, welcome to another wild food episode. In this, I'm going to be cooking honey roasted squirrel, uh, Anderson's relish, honey, chestnuts, salt and pepper, chili flakes. First thing to do, got prepared squirrels, add these defrosting overnight. All I'm doing, I'm just cutting up rib cage so I can split them and uh, lay them out flat in the pan. Nice and easy, rib bones are pretty soft on a squirrel, so I went through it with just a normal pair of scissors. You can use some a bit more hard wearing, say blunting your scissors. All I'm doing here, I'm just breaking ribs a little bit. And it just helps squirrel flatten out. A little bit of esophagus still left there, so I'm just cutting that out. And that's two perfectly clean squirrels. I'll just get these to rinse off now. Many small uh, game mammals. You do get a few airs, so you have to wash them off and make sure you get most of them airs off. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to start preparing marinade. Salt and pepper on squirrels first. Give them plenty of seasoning. How much salt and peppers do you taste? But I do, uh, I do like me uh, animals well seasoned, me meat. Flip them over, same again. Salt and pepper on both sides. Now that they're both seasoned, uh, just adding some chilli flakes, just give it that little bit of fire when it touches your tongue. Yorkshire's finest, Anderson's relish. You want quite a bit of this because you want to be able to cover both squirrels. Uh, leave these in fridge after I've created marinade and soaked them for about, I think about two hours I left them in there for. Let them soak up some of that flavour, some of that juice, and just a little bit on squirrel. If you don't like Anderson's relish, use soy sauce. They're very similar, really. Now it's time to add your honey. Ended up using up all that half a tub of honey. I wanted to get some good, nice, sweet flavour into the meat. Pour a bit on squirrels first. Bit of bugger to get out, it was uh, being it cupboard. That's marinade done, plenty on it, and all you've got to do is put your squirrels into the sauce. Don't want to waste any of that on it, we were tough enough to get out of that tub as it were, so I'll just scrape it all into the bowl.
That's the end tub. Everything's in there. Chili flakes. Anderson's relish. Honey. Salt. Pepper. Chili flakes. All I do now. Put lid on. Get a good shake. Get everything covered. And then pop it in the fridge. Uh, like I said, I think I left it in about a couple of hours. After that's been in a couple of hours, get some uh, rapeseed oil in the pan. Just have it a gently, you just want to uh, start warming these squirrels through gently to start with. Just use a piece of kitchen roll. Just uh, cover all that bottom of that pan. Stop it from burning. I don't think there's quite enough uh, rapeseed oil in there, so add a little bit more. Make sure you're quite liberal with it. That pan's eating up now. So it's squirrels that have been marinating. And I've got some more on it in that black tub. And a basting brush. Time for the squirrels to go back into the pan now. That's warm enough for them. Just get most of that relish off. I don't want it dripping all over. And the second one. That's both the squirrels in pan. Now I want to save a bit of this sauce, add it to it on it. Just so it goes a bit far, that's all. Give both them two a mix together now. Just for a minute, and it's ready to uh, base squirrel as that's cooking. See them now sizzling away. Just flattening them down, making sure meat cooks even. And then I'll flip them over. Trick to these, keep turning them over regular and keep basting them throughout all the cooking process. Every time you flip them over, rebaste them and that'll keep plenty of moisture in meat. Stop them drying out too much. Because they're being roasted, they will be a little bit chewy. Uh, best way is always to slow cook squirrels when being small. The smell coming from that pan is delicious. Mixture of sweet honey. All them, uh, all that seasoning. And for the final time, a bit more salt and pepper, just a bit of extra seasoning.
je pourrais faire ça ce jour. It's been cooking now for about 15-20 minutes. Took it off heat, covered it in tin foil, and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Last thing to do is tuck in, put some chestnuts on there, and also put some grated chestnuts over at Squirrel as you were cooking. I don't know if you included that footage in the video. The chestnuts and squirrel, they're really well accompanied together. As you can expect, it's a little bit tough because it has been roasted. But once you do get meat off, it's nice and tender and moist. I've got to say, out every way that I've cooked squirrel, apart from this being a bit tougher to, to pick at, it's the sweetest, best tasting squirrel I've ever had. The honey and the squirrels together, it just kicks off uh, taste buds in your mouth. It's absolutely beautiful. Look how golden brown that is. It's very similar to pork flavour with honey. That uh, skin's a bit like crackle. It's absolutely delicious. As you can see, chestnuts are there. About halfway through it there. Still pinky in the middle. Absolutely delicious. Best tasting squirrel I've ever eaten. And let's not forget, this is where these squirrels come from. It's from pest control services. Dispatch nice and cleanly. And, uh, do it justice, get it on your plate, eat it, and the animals live the purpose. Thanks for watching. I welcome any feedback, any comments, any suggestions you've got, better ways of doing things, anything I did wrong. Just drop me a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks again for watching.